Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my thumbnails. I've changed my style over the past few months and I think I know a lot about making thumbnails since I guess my thumbnails look pretty good. And so the first thing you want to do is press on to file new. This will open up the project settings where you can type in the project settings. And so the width and the height is the resolution. So um, this is the thumbnail resolution. So 1280 by 720. Don't change anything else except for background contents to make it transparent and change the width and height. That's all you need to do. You can name it, of course. That's all up to you. And if you want to continue you know, making these thumbnails, just press save preset and this will save all the settings. And so the next time you do this, you don't have to type it all in. You can just press right here and select, um, let's say thumbnail and then press OK. But here I will just do it as custom preset and press OK. And then once you uh, open it up, you'll see that it's a really big rectangle and that is the thumbnail itself. So this is how the thumbnail is going to look like. You can see it's transparent because it has a checkered background. And so if yours does not have a checkered background, go start again and press transparent as background contents. This uh, checkered background means transparent if you guys didn't know that. So the first thing you would do is go find a background or you can use something from your, you know, inside your video. So if you had your face of your face or, you know, a picture of something in your video, just like screenshot it and paste it onto this. Or you can just choose something else. So I've decided to, you know, search up cute puppies because a lot of people like puppies. And so I got this image right here. So what you want to do once you save it, just press save image as and press um, save as. And then go on to Photoshop, back onto Photoshop, press file, place. And then here you can see I saved it three times already. So nice. And then what you want to do is hold shift while dragging it. This will keep the aspect ratio so it, so it doesn't turn out like this or, or like or like this. So the puppies aren't that tall, you know, so that's the reason like why you have to hold shift. It is really important or else it will look really weird. So let me just place it once again and I'll show you what I mean. And so here, just drag it right here, hold shift and drag it and just keep the aspect ratio. If you guys know what that means, I don't have to explain to you, but some of you who are watching might not know what that means. So I'm just teaching you guys some vocabulary. And so that's it for now. And then I usually add a glow effect. What this glow effect will do is um, it adds a really cool color to it. And so the glow effect is really just, um, just color. So just press a new layer right here. It's like this notepad type thing, like a sticky notes. It says create a new layer. It's the second, the option next to the trash can on the bottom right. And so what you want to do is um, select the paint tool right here. It's like a brush tool and then press on it. It's right under this eyedropper tool and then select this. There's a drop down menu and you can select the size, the hardness and what type of brush you want. So the size, I usually do 600 pixels. Sometimes I might not. And the hardness is always at zero for me. And then use the soft round option, which is the first option on the top left a row or column. And then what you want to do is select the color you want. So I would do blue. And so what you want to do is just spray it like randomly, like in random spots. Don't do it all in one spot. Select the same color, but like different shade. I guess that's not really the same color though, but let me just spray randomly. And then next thing you want to do is do a color similar to it, but it's not like a shade of it. So here, let me just do turquoise. Maybe turquoise is different than that navy blue color. So that just makes it right. So that's, that's something you would look if you were doing blue. And so here, this random colors. Okay. And so now you can see there's a glow effect. Next thing I do is the text layer. And so I'm using Kenyan coffee. And what I recommend you to do is use capitals instead of lowercase when you're doing this, because it looks really cool if you do capitals. So let me just change the font to white and then I'll just write in cute puppies. And then here I'll just move it so you guys can see. So let me select on the text layer, just move it. And then let me type in puppies and then here and then you can see that it isn't the same size. And so what I want you to do is press control T and select on the puppies layer or whatever layer that is and press shift and drag it until it ends at the edges of the E and the C. And so that just makes it a lot more professional. It looks really weird if it's not aligned. And so if you're really, really, you know, you know, you want to make it really accurate. What you want to do is press a uh, control on the both layers. Or if you have more than one layer, uh, text layer, 
press Control A, and then press this sensor tool right here, and then it'll just sensor it, like right in the middle, and then you can make, sh and that will make sure that it is actually censored. The next thing you wanna do is make another layer, so that notepad sticky note thingy, make it under the two text layers, or how, how many text layers you have, but make it over that colored layer you added, and or, or press on the brush tool again, and then change the color to black. You can change it to whatever color you want, actually. Just make sure it's dark. And what I will want to do is put it right behind the text, and so you can kind of see the text better. So let me just like spam it a little bit. And so now you can see it. You can you know lower the opacity if you you know kind of did it too much, like I did right now. And then I can you know rotate it by uh, just control on the text layers. So just press control and press control T and then I can just like make it tilted. Tilted looks a lot better in my opinion. And then the next thing I would do is change up the text because the text doesn't look that good. It's too simple in my opinion. And then so what you want to do is select on the text layer. Just do one at a time. Press right click on it and press blending options. Here it'll, it'll show you a ton of stuff. The first thing I like to do is press gradient overlay. And so what the gradient overlay does is it's a gradient. So Usually I put like one of the text is, you know, white or black. The other text is a color and make sure the color is similar to the background color you did. So in this um, sense, I would do blue because that's just the right thing to do since my background is kind of blue. So let's just say you had like a blue color like me, just make one dark, one light. So here I'll just do that. So I'll just find the perfect thing. And then usually it doesn't turn out as I like. So I just press reverse and you can see if it, you know, change your opinion or anything. And so the next thing I do is just press drop shadow and don't change anything. I just add a little drop shadow at the background. And then that's all I do. I don't do any more than that. Right click on the text layer that you just uh, edited and press copy layer style. So you, I just did that. And then right click on the other text layer and press paste layer style. Like I said before, I like to make one of them white and one of them a different color. So I'll just do that. So go into blending options and then go on gradient. And then change it to blue instead of, I mean, change it to like gray to white instead of dark blue to light blue or whatever color you're doing. And so here, that's what I'm doing. And you can see that it looks cool, okay? And I forgot a step. So what you want to do is press inner glow. And then you want to change it to a color similar to both of these colors, like in between them maybe. So here I'll do a little light gray. And then you can see it adds a little cool effect. You might not be able to see it on the white text layer but I'll do it on the blue one and it should appear, you know, more easily, I guess, uh, easier to see, I guess. And then here I would do like a blue and then I'll increase the size a little bit. You can see it. And then as you can see, it looks like that. And so let me just increase the opacity of this a little bit. And then, yeah. And so the next thing you want to do is add an object on the right side or left side, wherever your text isn't on the opposite of side. It could be your face. It could be a screenshot of your face, something that occurred in your video or something relating to the title of your video. So in my, it says cute puppy. So I would search up puppies PNG. Make sure it's a PNG file because it's transparent or else the white in like pretend this was, was not transparent. Okay. The whole white part would be taking up like the whole thing. So if I do this, save image as and then file place so i have run here and then i can stretch it if i want but it looks like it's a perfect size so let me just put it there and then here this is different than the text i do not make it the same right click on the image go on to outer glow and change it to the similar color you had you know with your your text and your like the whole color scheme so mine's blue and so just change the size and the opacity to your liking. So here, so here you can see that the size, it looks pretty good. You can lower the opacity to see, you know, what you like. And then I would do the same with the inner glow or I could make it white if I want. Like if I made it white, you guys can see how it looked like. Or I'll just add blue because it looks a lot better in my opinion. You can do different shades of blue or different shades of what, <laughs> there's no different shade of white except for like gray, you can do gray. And so you can see how it looks like. And then you can also make the text bigger because the text isn't really emphasized a lot. So just press control T and then shift. And then what you wanna do is also do that to the, you know, the big uh, black layer at the bottom of it. So, uh, so it can like cover the bottom of it as well. 
And yeah, that is how I make my thumbnails. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any any questions, I mean any questions, you can just ask me. I usually you know, answer most of my questions, uh, comments I get within the first few hours. Or if you have any questions, you know, you can you also DM me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. You can message me anywhere. I will answer. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Please, let's hit 100 likes. I know that's a lot. But hopefully you guys enjoy. My name is Steven. I'll see you next time.